Hi, friends. I am happy to announce that the book on statistics that I have been working on for 14 months uh, is now finished and it's available on Amazon, as you can see in front of you on your screen. So, yeah, it's called Modern Statistics. You can find it looking on Amazon uh, or by looking for my name or, you know, from a link on my website or obviously a direct link in the description below. Uh, you can see it as a beautiful cover art. Obviously, you should never judge a book by its cover unless the color is really beautiful, in which case you should definitely judge this book by its amazing, beautiful cover. I wish I could take credit for this. It was created by a professional graphics designer. So this book is, let's look at the official statistics here. It's almost 700 pages. Um, it has um, yeah, almost 400 figures all of which can be reproduced by uh, over 35,000 lines of code. Now, it sounds like a lot, but uh, about half of that is Python code and half of that is R code. So it's like the same code in two different languages. Still, it, you know, it is quite a bit of code. Uh, let's see, what else is there? There is, uh, there's 150 plus exercises, book exercises. Now, these are not simple numerical plug and chug exercises that let's face it are kind of useless and said all of these exercises are designed for uh, to require some creativity some careful thought and coding so you definitely need coding to work through this book um, as i mentioned the book is in python and in r so uh if you i hope you prefer one of those two languages otherwise you can use chat gpt to translate my Python code uh, into MATLAB or um, SPSS or any other language that you want. Now, there is a little bit of code that's uh, printed inside the book, but most of the code, obviously, I'm not going to print tens of thousands of lines of code in the book. So to get all of the code, which includes all the code that produces the figures in the book, so you can exactly reproduce the figures in the book, randomness not uh, aside, um, and also all of my solutions to every single exercise are in the code files. The code files you can get from my GitHub repository. That's github.com slash Mike and slash statistics underscore book. You can type that URL directly, although honestly, it's just easier to Google for, you know, Mike Xco and GitHub, and then you'll find this. And then you'll find this repository. So you can see, I'm um, sure I just have a, a welcome word. Um, I actually have... One full chapter, a piece of a chapter, like a few tantalizing pages, literally the entire chapter 11, which is focused on the t-test, is available for free right here on my GitHub site. So that is a great opportunity for you to just check out one chapter, see if you like my writing style and my approach to teaching statistics. You can look through the exercises. It's all there. Um, and if you're happy with that and you want to invest more of your time into the rest of the book, obviously, you can uh, make that choice for yourself. So here you see two folders for R and Python. So we can see in the Python uh, folder. So this is all of the code for the entire book. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's, there's one notebook file for each chapter. So for example, we can just look at the chapter on, what should we do? How about correlation? So here is all the code for chapter 12, the R code is the same concept. Obviously, our code looks different, syntax is different, and so on. But um, it's all the same, same spiel. So here, this, for example, this code here will exactly recreate figure 12.1. So now uh, you see figure 12.1 in the book, and you want to modify what happens if you try with 30 pairs instead of 40 pairs. These are all things that you can modify uh, and explore and use this code to help you understand statistics. Okay, so all the figures are in here. Sometimes there's, you know, things that are not in figures, but just extra um, uh, code that I find relevant and useful. And then here, when you scroll down towards the bottom, I wanna show you, okay, here we are with the exercises. All of these solutions to all of the exercises are printed in each of these code files. They're towards the bottom. Um, so here you see, this is the code for exercise one. So the book has the description of the exercise. Now, obviously, I strongly encourage you to um, solve this exercise on your own, to write code on your own. But this is a really great way for you to compare 
your exercise solution against mine to see how closely they match. Maybe you have a different way of solving it than how I did. That's great. As long as you get the right answer, <laughs> it doesn't matter how you get there in code. So yeah, we can go through. So let's see, this chapter in particular has 11, 11 exercises just in this chapter. Each of these exercises, depending on how well you understand the statistics concepts and also how good of a coder you are, um, they will take anywhere from, you know, maybe five minutes to maybe up to an hour. So if you want to go through all these exercises, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for you to really learn statistics in here. Now, I also have um, free video explanations of all of these exercises on my YouTube channel. You can find that by just searching YouTube. I will also put the direct link um, in the description below. And basically in those videos, I explain the, uh, the purpose and the goals of the exercise in the text. Um, and then I walk through my solutions in Python. And I also use that as an opportunity to discuss some of the concepts and also some of the implementational details in more detail than what I do in uh, just the book. Anyway, I hope you find this book to be a useful resource in your adventures in learning statistics. Thank you for supporting me to create these, uh, this educational material. I do this stuff full time. Now I left my previous job as a professor uh, to, to write these books and make online courses full time. So I really appreciate your support.